Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a special video for someone that commented on one of my uh, videos that I did a while back about uh, how to protect your finances from uh, spiritual thieves, basically the enemy from attacking your finances. And so I am doing this video. She asked me to clarify what I was talking about. And so I'm, I'm going to kind of tell you guys what I actually meant. Well, um, I've been in deliverance ministry over 10 years. You know, if you guys checked out my channel trailer to understand more about me and, and what I do in ministry, um, I have been in deliverance so long and um, the Lord has revealed so many things to me, showed me things uh, as I minister with him. And I've seen things in the spirit realm and he explains what's going on. And so I can do things with ministry uh, with him um, and be effective when I do things. And because I've had, because I basically have been doing this with the Lord for a while, he's given me a pretty high authority that I have in the spirit realm. It's a lot of stuff that I can do with the Lord um, that I had to actually build up that authority. And so one of the things is... Um, when it comes to our finances and our body being attacked by the enemy, the enemy can uh, do a lot of things. He can attack our family members. He can attack, uh, you know, our destiny, even your spiritual gifts, cause your gifts not to be able to flow um, freely and uh, just attack so many things when it comes to us. And so what the Lord has, has revealed to me is that there's a way that we can get these things protected. You can have your finances protected. You can have your body protected. If your mind is being attacked by the enemy, you can get your mind protected. It's a lot of things that you can get protected. And the way you get them protected is by giving them to God. You give these things to God. Individual things, you give it to God. Okay? And so what I mean when I say give it to God is that you actually... Um, the Lord goes and he removes your things. See, they have to be removed from the enemy's uh, realm, from the enemy's territory first before they can be given to God. And so what we would do in ministry, let's say if a person's mind was being attacked um, by the enemy. And so what we would do, um, we would, you know, ask the Lord to go in, remove all of their things, uh, their mind from that realm, from the demonic realm, ask the Lord to remove it from that realm. And then once it's removed, we ask the Lord to keep it, to take it there in his kingdom um, where God is. Take it there with him and keep it safe. And I'll tell you in the vision what, what I actually saw, what happens whenever the Lord does this. He'll remove it from the demonic realm. And I'll tell you uh, just from a situation of mine, what I saw the Lord doing when I had to get my things removed from the demonic realm. And I have to do it a lot because I'm always getting attacked. But this is what I saw when I asked the Lord to remove my things from the demonic realm. I saw like it was like cases and suitcases and all of this stuff being lined up. And the angels went there, went in that realm, and they got all of my stuff out. I saw them with luggages and everything um, removing my stuff out of that realm. I saw them in this vision. And then when they were all out of that realm, you know, I saw all of my stuff being removed from that realm. And then um, what happens is I ask the Lord to keep my things there with him. And then this is what I saw when the Lord takes it. He'll take it and put it like in, I call it a storehouse. Um, but it's like a room. It's like a place where he'll take all of your stuff and store it there. I call it a storehouse. You know the scripture that talks about, you know, um, don't store up treasures here on earth. Because basically, when your treasures are stored here in earth, on earth, the enemy can steal it. It could, you know, it's going to get rusted. It's going to get eaten away with moth and, you know, all of these things. It can be destroyed. But you store it up, you know, you store up treasures for the kingdom. You know, you store up treasures for the kingdom. And also, it also talks about storehouses. And what you can do when you have things, you can give it to God and he will store it. And the enemy can't touch, touch it, basically. The thief can't get it. It can't be stolen. The moths can't eat it. It doesn't rust. 
when it's there with him. He takes care of it. And the thing about this is that you can do this with every area that the enemy is attacking. If the enemy is attacking your body with sickness, um, let's say if it's an organ, if you're having heart problems or something like that, the enemy can actually probably have your heart in their realm and they can keep it there and attack it there, you know. And what you can do, you can ask the Lord, see, you know, the thing about this is I do this with God and it's a certain type of um, authority that we have to have to be able to access that realm. But you can pray and ask the Lord to remove your heart, or organ, whatever it is, your mind, your finances from the demonic realm and then give him time to remove it and then ask him to keep it in the spiritual realm, his kingdom where he is and keep it safe there. But like I said, you can do it with, uh, you know, your healing. If you need healing, um, the enemy could have it in uh, their realm and that's why they're attacking it. Um, either with your family, your kids, uh, the enemy can have, you know, um, things of theirs in that realm. And I'll share another thing, like, it's a shock. I mean, it shocked me when the Lord actually revealed this to me. But the enemy can actually have your blood your blood in their realm they can have your they can have your hair your fingernails um you know clones of your body parts all of this crazy stuff that they steal from us and they take it in that realm and they attack us with it i know it sounds kind of <laughs> you know um but when the lord was revealing this to me and we would see people um you know with their spirit man trapped in the demonic realm in chains and we would have to go in that realm, get them out, you know, uh, so that they could be free. Or their minds are in that realm with chains on it. So many things. So um, if you are watching, you know, I'm doing this video for you and anybody else that wants to kind of understand this. I hope you understand this a little better. And what you can do, like I was saying with your finances or anything, any area that you can think of, your destiny, um, your relationships, uh, your family, your children your husband, your wife, um, you know, just your possessions, even your possessions. You can get your possessions out of that realm also and give those to God, okay? And then another uh, part of this I would like to tell you is that with certain things, when you give it to God, let's say your finances, when you give your finances to God and you ask Him to keep it there with Him and you give it to Him, now, the thing you need to start doing is understanding when you give it to him, you have given it to him. And your finances, you want to, um, you know, consider him and communicate with him when you're spending the finances. You just don't spend it, you know, like you're totally in control of it because you're taking it out of God's hands. What you need to do when you're spending money you need to pray and ask the Lord, include him in it, ask him if it's okay with you to spend it. Okay? <laughs> now, what I was talking about in that video that, you know, I'm doing this part two, I guess, to it, is that when you just spend the money and do whatever you want to do with it without even considering God, you've given it to him, but you don't even consider him, you don't even ask him if you can spend it on certain things, you're just spending it just because... And then what you do, you take it out of God's hand and you put it back into your hands because you are the one that's controlling it, okay? You're not even considering him. You're not asking him. You know, you've given it to him. So now you ask him, you know, you ask him now because you gave it to him. I hope that under, I hope you kind of understand, like if I give you something and then I just take it back without even asking you and I'm doing stuff with it, you know, I've given it to you. I should ask you if I can use it. It's yours. You don't give something to someone and then you just take it back and, and start using it without even asking them. So when you give your finances to God, make sure every time you spend it, if you're spending a dollar at the gas station, you're getting food, you're getting whatever, ask the Lord if it's okay for you to use it, okay? I always hear him say yes. He's rarely said no. I couldn't uh, spend money on something, but if you're wasting money, you're throwing money away and you're spending it somewhere where you're not supposed to spend it, he's, he's not going to want you to do that, okay? But uh, that is basically um, a little, going into a little bit more deeper um, 
uh, information about how you can protect your finances, how you can protect your uh, body, how you can protect your mind, how you can protect your destiny, your uh, family from the attacks uh, from the enemy, and that is giving everything to God and having him to take it in his kingdom, in the spiritual realm where he is, and storing it in the storehouses um, and protecting it there. Okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is like, like I said, this is this is my life, uh, my lifestyle. This is what I live. This is what I do. Um, you know, and I do this in ministry. Even when I'm ministering to people, the Lord will show, uh, you know, what's going on. And the enemy may have something of a person's in his realm. And so we have to go in there, get it out, and ask the Lord to protect it for the person. So that uh, that part of whatever they're being attacked doesn't get attacked anymore. So I do this. This is uh, what I do in ministry. And I actually do this in my daily life also whenever I need to. So, um, but uh, if you um, have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I do weekly videos. And when you subscribe, click the notification button so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. God bless.